Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Dubious Engineering. Fixing a puncture with green slime, dead easy. Does it work? Absolutely yes. They can even prevent potential punctures. It doesn't fix cuts and tears, but it definitely fix puncture wounds like stabby sort of screw or pin or thorn punctures. So I woke up this morning prepared to go out for a bike ride and found that my front bicycle tire was completely flat. About six months ago, I also had exactly the same problem with my Xiaomi M365 electric scooter. And the front tire on this is an absolute nightmare to change. So I'm really happy to tell you that the green slime did exactly what it said on the bottle. It fixed the problem and I only used that much of it. So the plan today is to fix my front wheel on the bike and then also put some preventative green slime in the back two tires of the Xiaomi scooter and the bicycle. Now I'm not getting sponsored to make this video. I just wanted to show you really how good this stuff actually is. Does it do what it says on the tin? The answer is yes. I'm absolutely confident it does exactly what it says on the tin and I'm dead happy with the results based on the fact that my Xiaomi scooter is still functioning beautifully, even after many, many months of continued service. Without further ado, let's show you how to do this. It's dead simple, and you hardly need any tools at all. Inside the cap of the slime tire sealant, if you turn it this way up, you can see a tiny little screwdriver, which you can use to pop inside here and actually remove the internal workings, the internal mechanics of that valve. And there's the internal mechanics of the valve just there. So once that guy is out, what, the, what you then do is remove the label from the bottle. There is a little lid that you'll have to remove from the green slime tub. Screw the cap on, plug the cap into the straw this is all schoolboy stuff, and then squirt in the appropriate amount of green slime. In this case, it's probably about a third of a bottle of this small bottle for this particular tire. Once you've got the slime inside the inner tube, remove the straw. Now go ahead and refit your valve internals. Again, using the cap, from the green slime bottle to screw those valve internals back in place. There we go, just slightly more than finger tight. And then go ahead and take your pump, connect it to your tire and pump your tire up. What you will then want to do is make sure that you spread that slime all the way around the inside of your tire by rotating your tire. Once you're reasonably happy that you've got the green slime spread around the inside of your tire by rotating your tire under a slight amount of pressure, go ahead and fill your tire up to its appropriate pressure. And there we have it, ladies and gents. It's that easy to fix a tire. No removing the tire and getting the inner tube out and putting a sticky patch on it and all of that kind of madness. Literally, squirt green slime inside of it. If it's got a pin puncture, like a thorn, a needle or a screw on the center of the tire, which is quite common, this will fix it. If it's got a split or a tear around the tire or inner tube, green slime won't fix it but if it's a small puncture, this will just take care of it. If you get one of those small punctures when you're riding along, you can just go ahead and remove the offending object and the green slime will then seal that hole as it tries to escape from the tire. As always, thanks ever so much for watching Dubious Engineering. Make sure you give us a good old thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you on the next video. Take care, bye for now everyone.